So after both, unfortunately, Senator Kennedy and Senator McCain passed away from glioblastoma, the term glioblastoma, or GBM, became uh, much more commonplace and more discussed in the media. Glioblastoma is a grade four astrocytoma, so that's the highest grade in terms of brain tumors. The National Cancer Institute estimates that the incidence is around two to three cases out of 100,000 people per year in the United States. There are a myriad of symptoms, but there's also a wide range of symptoms. Considering that glioblastoma is a brain tumor, the symptoms generally revolve around increased intracranial pressure, which may be reflected in terms of vomiting, changes in vision, or a new onset seizure. However, these may happen earlier in the growth of the tumor or later, depending on where the tumor is located. If it's located in the visual cortex or the visual region, they might have visual symptoms versus if it's located in the frontal lobe, there may be personality changes. In addition, um, imaging plays an extremely important role in glioblastoma as MRI is the best way to delineate the tumor and to follow it up after therapy is done, both after surgery, after chemotherapy, and after radiation. And in the recent years, there has been evolution of molecular analysis, which is paralleling the imaging advances. And now we have certain tools that are helping us delineate the therapeutic response with patients with GBM that we can see on MRI.